All right, this is the second one for the week. Trying to make this a weekly thing where we solo both of the hardest weekly HVTs. And this one is the hardest. It is Gila. I already did Predator with an Alpha Bridge build. We're going to do Gila with a Lone Star, four piece Nomad, two piece build, M60 primary, and an MK17 as the secondary. Let's go. And it's in the sewers. This is probably one of the easiest places to fight. That is a really long run. Fortunately, through the power of video editing software, I'll speed that up. Or I will have sped that up. Uh, while you're here, there's electronics on the right, tools on your left. I'm not going to bother. We, we start with uh, three heavies in Gila. Let my predatory activate. Just hang up for a second, the predatory brings me back up again. Might as well reload. Fortunately, I've got a lone star, so that's real easy. It's amazing how you can aim with a 15 power scope and a heavy machine gun. Did you get the other one? Must have. Two up. Shotguns in this wave. Could be wrong. Oh, there's a lot of them out. I'm gonna just sit down for a minute, wait for my heal to recharge. Got lots of time. There it is. Kill here, so predatory comes up. Good, uh, there we go. Just hang up for a second. Ah, my toughness is a little weaker than I thought it was against these guys. Predatory up again. I think they have to leave cover sometime. Get a busy now. We really need to get that healer before we concentrate on the other ones. So I don't want them still up when the next wave comes along. He's down. This wave, I think, is three more heavies again. Which means I'm gonna have to sit on my butt for a minute. 
The good thing is, they really don't approach, so you can just sit here forever. I'd have to use a health pack. Ah, let's wait a second, let it come back. Always focus the guy that's low if you can. Alert. Additional hostiles inbound. That's unfortunate because I've still got a heavy out there. Let's put a few rounds basically into his balls. This may require me to fire my alt. Nope, we're still good. Good thing about solo, you don't have to fire it yourself. I am reloading my gun way more often than I need to. On your left. Hostiles incoming. Hostiles incoming. Oh shit, I left the heater up. Yeah. Let's see if we can drop them before they come. It's like no. Is name Cartman? No. Nope. Airman. Use some nades. Oh shit. That sucks. Oh. Use the health pack. Let's throw another nade down there just for fun. This is a problem. I really need to get one of them now. And I really don't want to pop my ult. Lock that agent down. Perfect. Whew. Damn, they're tough. What did she throw out? Hmm. The first one drop on me. Ah, oh, shit. Go down. And it fired. Damn it. Well, might as well put a shit ton of rounds down range while it's up. That'll work. <laughs> Dig in the balls a bunch. Up heel, drop them. That leaves me with one named enemy. It might be enough to get them, probably not. Just a boat, though. Oh, we got him. And. That's it. I like this build a lot for PvE, but uh, the one issue is when those shotguns are rushing at you, it just doesn't quite have the damage output to knock them on their ass as fast as you want to. Almost no intel drops. That's unfortunate. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and hopefully we'll see some of you next week.